Hi, children. Good morning. This is part three of development lesson one, economics. Students, before we pick up today's point to discuss public facilities, before that, let's have a brief recapitulation of previous point that we discuss in my last video. It was about the comparative study of the some states Punjab, Kerala and Bihar. Students in which we got a very contrasting data about Punjab, Kerala and Bihar. Before that we also calculated and understood that the per capita income of these states respectively Punjab, Kerala and Bihar which was 26,000 Punjab, 22,800 of Kerala and 5,700 of Bihar. It was the per capita income of that state in the year of 2002 and 3. Whereas when we look at this table now so we find here lot of changes though the Punjab is a, at a first place with the 26,000 per capita income compared to the Kerala but in field of infant mortality rate you look at this the infant mortality rate is in Punjab 49% whereas in Kerala it is just 11% and if you take up the next point that is literacy rate in the year of 2001 in Punjab it was a 70% whereas at the same year in Kerala it was 91% even if you look at the other factor that is net attendance ratio for the schools in classes 1 to 5 in the year 95 and 96 again you will get it the lot of variation between the Punjab and Kerala then how it is so how is that an average person in Punjab has more income than the average person in Kerala but lags behind in these crucial areas students don't you wonder then the simple reason behind is money in your pocket cannot buy all the goods and services that you may need to live well. Oh, it is right. It is very much rightly said. So, income by itself is not a completely adequate indicator of material goods and services that the citizens are able to use. Students try to understand this little more better with the help of example uh, public facilities. For example, normally your money cannot buy you a pollution free environment or ensure that you get unadulterated medicines. Unadulterated medicines means the duplicate medicines unless you can afford to shift to a community that already has all these things. Therefore, money may also not able to be able to protect you from infectious diseases unless the whole of your community takes some preventive measures. This is what how the system work out. Students, you know the public facilities what do you mean by public facilities? Let's come to know in a very simple way. A public facility is the facility which is to be provided to the citizens of the people of an entire nation by the government either a free of cost or a very a little or a nominal charges laid on for example the facilities which comes under the 
public facilities education health i mean to say hospitals then electricity aeration in the sense food supply then roads gutters and many more such facilities are there to be provided by government they are known as public facilities so one of the important public facility which comes under this that is pds it means public distribution system or through which the government supply the food grains to the poor people after this point students we pick up the next point to be discussed is a sustainability of development this is our the last point of the lesson sustainability of development you know children throughout in this lesson one by one every subheading was in support of the development we understood what is development what are the different types of development how the development is differ from person to person then what are the different reasons for the different perceptions of a development many such important aspects we covered in this lesson children now let's come to know what is sustainability of development sustainability means retainability retainability means which remains for a long time which we could hold on it for a longer time sustain whichever way we define development suppose a development in the present that a particular country is quite a developed one we could certainly like this level of development there is no doubt at all further or at least be a maintained for a future generation you know development does not mean that whatever the resources are available around us or in surrounding we can make best of its use but it doesn't mean that in order to utilize it we should not be the reasonable or we should not be the responsible or we should not be a cause of its degradation therefore this is very obviously and desirable moreover however since the second half of the 20th century a number of scientists have been warning that the present type and levels of developments are not at all sustainable sustainable means which can be you know retained for a long time i mean to say till the a future generation students here one important point is very necessary to be understand and nowadays generation have been mistaken about the resources which are available with them they have believed to be granted that these resources are belong to them and they are the owner of these but it is wrong i rather would say it is wrong why we have not inherited this world or these resources from our forefathers but in reality we have borrowed it from our child our children what does it mean look at this thought here once again i would like to read it to you we have not inherited the world from our forefathers but we have borrowed it from our children it means that when we have borrowed something from others either it is our children or somebody else then don't you think that we need to return it to them back then in order to return it to the children or to somebody else who is its real owner then we need to keep it 
in a better conditions therefore for example a ground water of course it is a renewable resource these resources are replenished by nature as in the case of crops and plants however even these resources may be overused for example in the case of ground water if we use more than what is being replenished by rain then we would be overusing this resource then in a near future definitely we are going to face a acute a problem of water then if it is in a renewable resources then definitely in case of non renewable resources are the problems and the shortcomings are binded to be happen and these are the resources to be exhausted after some years of its use if the same tendency of using the resources continued for some more years in the futures to come then definitely there is no doubt one day rather i would like to call that one fine day we do not uh, have or we will not have enough not only to us but even for our future generation therefore students therefore we need to take care of all these resources no matter how much resources you are using but you are not responsible or you are not to be you know the cause for decaying or degrading the resources you are just a caretaker of these resources and you must have to be pass on the same resources to the next generations and this is what called a sustainability of development with this students we come to an end of our first lesson from economics development that's all for this session we will uh, begin a new lesson in my next video till then take care